if you think that this video is hazy it is i put something on the lens so it's a little bit dreamier <laughs> and today we're gonna talk about underrated music artists at least like they are underrated in my opinion most of them are under a hundred thousand listens on spotify i'm going to link everybody below and while i'm doing this i'm also gonna do my makeup i'm going to butcher some of the names just because it's hard to find how to pronounce some names when they're not like big artists because they haven't talked about it yet in interviews or something like that um this one is her name is k meitza or Maitza. Very hyper pop, hyper hip hop, I guess, because she is rapping mostly. It's great. This is kind of like if you like Ashniko, you will really like her, and I think that she deserves some recognition. She just has some, so many bops, honestly, like so many songs that are really, really good. I really like from her latest album or latest project. Um, I like Shook and Awake. Obviously, they're quite popular, but I think that they can stand to get a few more streams, to be honest. <laughs> I think that they're quite good. Her music videos, there was this music video with like a lot of like racing kind of imagery and stuff like that that was really good. Earthquake, yeah, got them all shook. I'm gonna link it down below as well. The next one is group therapy. I am so obsessed with Raise It Up. It's not even funny. The amount of times I have listened to that song. It's so catchy, but like in a very understated way, which is like the best thing ever is when the rhythm, the song just carries the rhythm, rhythm in so many ways. Um, not just one way. It's not just like, you know, a setup and a drop. Um, just has this nice groove throughout the whole entire thing. It's just... And she hit in a sense and it's great. Now again, this one, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna say Oklo. It's gonna be on the screen somewhere for sure. This one, I really like the the song Entertainment. I know it's strange that I'm laughing. The song is from this year. It reminds me of like 070 Shake. If you really like that kind of sound of very... A bit overblown, 80s sound. I think you're gonna like this a lot it's really good i should listen to her new project too galore i haven't yet so i can't recommend anything off of it but i would say that um check her out she yeah she's like at 143,000. another one is kaylee ameri ameri kaylee Amer mm. she's at like 20,000 listeners and um her song give it up is it's really good when, when, when she bad, baby would you hold it down i don't listen to it the next one, either Deva or Dava, I don't know. She, her song ASOS. Again, the amount of times I've listened to this song recently, it's like, it's unholy. I am so behind on actually doing my makeup, I just keep on talking. Well, this color is useless, you can't even see it. Listen to ASOS, I think it's great. It's really, really catchy in an understated way as well. There's another artist who, I wouldn't say that she's super underrated, but I think that she deserves more listens and it's Teishi. Her new project, Die For Your Love, there's a song, Johnny. There's an English and a Spanish version, both are great. Johnny, they all come see me. Listen to them, they're amazing. Really nice storytelling, interesting setup. It's not boring and that's what we want. So there's also Jayla Darden. She's got so many good like R&B songs, it's ridiculous. Sweating Me, How are they not bigger? That's what my question is, okay? Like, the, everyone on this list, it's just like, how on, how on the fuck of the earth is this a thing? All of those, like, really bad artists are at the top, while we have all of this gold just, like, there. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. Demonstration, such a good song. And also like the sound in the background, I don't know what they used, but it sounds very much like an Eastern European guitar looking instrument that's called balalaika. It really sounds like that to me and like I'm here for it because I, I rarely hear it anywhere. And as a Slav, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for those sounds, okay? We don't get to participate in anything ever. So I don't know again how to pronounce this name, if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not. Um, I have a tendency to pronounce it all with like, you know, an accent, but Hawa? H-A-W-A The song My Love I listen to it like an unholy amount Just the way that it's composed It's not like Again, it's not like one of those typical songs that just have this like, you know, drop and then just like another build up or whatever It just has this groove through the entire thing The bass, the, the beat itself is just immaculate I love it Told her just 
just stay for a while. And I just realized when I was reading like her about section is that she was one of the youngest ever composers for the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. Oh, come on. It's probably gonna be like number one or like number two in my year-end list on Spotify for sure. Also, I need to switch from- I just switched from Apple Music to Spotify like um, like two months ago just because Apple Music is so difficult and so unintuitive to use but Spotify is such a little like dickhead of a company that I like- I feel bad using it. Who allowed you to be this talented and this underrated? That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I just realized that like <laughs> almost everyone on this list is a girl. It just goes to show you that we don't appreciate our girls enough. Okay, I'm gonna listen to my love again. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I am going to link everybody down in the description give them some love i'm sure you're gonna love their music they deserve some recognition okay thank you